What is up everybody, Greg2G here. We're back today with another Raziel video. It's time to get nerdy again. We're talking about pets today. And yeah, we're gonna get into some math and all that good stuff. Before we get started though, remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all that good stuff, push some buttons, leave a comment. Every little thing helps so, so much, I appreciate you. All right, so we're gonna try to really, really dig deep into pets and figure out how much benefits they actually give us and that sort of thing. So yeah, of course, as we always do this to start off, we're completely naked. Of course, nothing equipped, not even costume stuff. <clears throat> okay, hello, uh, future Greg here and future Greg needs to jump in here before we waste too much of our time here. So basically what past Greg was doing, he went and tested a lot of the skills and stuff Assuming that the stats on the pets were actually what they were. So, you know, on the pets, on the pet screen, it shows like normal attack, skill attack, extra damage, and all this other stuff. Suffice to say, all that stuff is wrong. And, um, yeah, let's just jump back to uh, past Greg and he can kind of show you how he discovered why everything on the pet screen is wrong and what we should be doing instead. Anyway, so after all this... I'm pretty certain that these pets, yeah, only do increase your base attack, which isn't a bad thing. Like, it's a, it's a really decent in increase in the base attack. But, yeah, I don't understand why they, <laughs> they say you should be getting all these other stats as well. Um, and, and, yeah, I, I have no, there's no, there seems to be no rhyme or reason about how much base attack it's giving because it's not this number right here. Um, it, I haven't, I can't, if, I've tried to do some division and all that stuff to figure out how we're getting instead of the 385 base attack, for example, on the Dryad, uh, how we're getting the, what was it, four, let me see real quick, 434. So we got 434 instead of 385. So I was like, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, I, I see a 434 right here. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Uh, give me a, give me a minute to think about this. Okay, let me look at the crocodile real quick. So, for the crocodile, we went from 3,007 to 3,209, and that's 202. Our base attack went from 3,007 to 3,209. That is 202. Okay, so we. Is, are these bugged? I feel like maybe pets are bugged. Like, are they really supposed to be giving us all these stats? But instead, they're only giving, putting skill attack, the skill attack number, into our attack damage. And we're not even getting any of these bottom three. Okay, so I didn't, I completely did not expect this when I was uh, planning on this next section of the video. Um... What I wanted to talk about in this section of the video was, well, I was going to say, okay, I'm sure the big question on most of your minds is, okay, so what about, what's, what pets should I be using though? Like, uh, is, what about the, uh, the, the abilities on the pets? So like the, the crocodile, for example, with the 316% normal attack damage or the hell flame with 12.9% normal attack buff. Um, that sort of thing. So I did actually test, especially uh, between Hellflame and the Crocodile. I wanted to see which one was actually better if this 12.9% was actually doing anything. And it, I don't know. I feel like this might, these, these buff skills might be broken as well because, you know, the 12.9% wasn't actually doing that much. Like, I was getting the same exact kill times. It wasn't... I, I would assume that if I got a 12.9% normal attack increase, um, like with Bison, that my my Guardian skills would be, like, 12.9% stronger. Like, but I was doing... I was looking closely. I'll put up a little clip of me doing some testing there. But I was looking closely at the numbers with and without Hellflame, and the damage on the divine skill was pretty close to the same. It was definitely not 12% stronger. It was, you would expect 12% of 20 million to give you like a huge, huge buff, but 
yeah, it wasn't really that great. So that being said, I believe we shouldn't really mess around with these A-grade pets too much. You see, I did invest quite a bit into a couple of these A-grade pets. And I think a few of them have some like very specific uh, abilities that could be useful in like specific situations like this one that disperses a debuff from yourself. That would, might be pretty cool in PvP and um, in other situations like against poison bosses, maybe stuff like that. Um, but yeah, again, like it's the same thing with Midnight Bear. Like everyone says uh, Midnight Bear is so sick. Look, you get 26 point something skill attack, but um yeah in my testing the this actually didn't do that much like I, i'm thinking like does it only increase the skill attack on the bear or but it says your skill attack is increased but yeah it doesn't actually do it doesn't give you 25 percent more damage not even close so i'm not sure how this calculation is being made maybe it's just being calculated uh to your like very base damage before it's added into so like how abilities work is like there's a, a huge string of calculations that goes on and some things ha happen towards the beginning and some ha things happen towards the end like i would have assumed that this would probably go on the end and increase the damage on the end but i'm pretty i think this 26 percent is probably a, more at the beginning of the calculation which means it doesn't actually do as much as you would like it to so yeah i think we should not really mess around with these a grade pets too much unless um they do something and change it so the these calculations are being added to the end of every attack but as it is right now they are not doing that much as as you would expect them to do wait i know what we i know what we can do we can go into the event thing under shard exchange and have a look at the pets in here and See, like, what a level 1 crocodile has. A level 1 crocodile has attacks. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Attack, HP, armor, magic resist. Wait a second. Okay. Has any... Have it? Has somebody else figured this out before? I wonder if somebody else has already figured this out, and I'm just... I'm probably the stupid one that is just realizing this. So, on the pet page... I, I, this is what I believe is wrong here. So, I think on the pet page the stats are all wrong i mean they're they're typed wrong like i think these are the right stats so it's attack hp armor magic resist it's not attack normal attack it's, uh skill attack normal attack whatever it has on the pet page is wrong this is the right i'm pretty sure this is the right actual stats hold on hold on okay okay oh my god this video is not going in any way the way that i planned it anyway um yeah okay <laughs> I wonder if anyone knew this already. Like, has anyone reported this? Like, this has been, like, obviously wrong since the game actually came out. And if we have a look here... Okay, this makes complete sense now. Especially when we look at the icons. So, yeah, this is attack. This is base attack. This is HP. This is physical armor. And this is magic resist. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So yeah, attack, HP, physical armor, magic resist. Attack, HP, physical armor, magic resist. Bro. Bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this just changes everything. This changes everything. Oh my god. Let me look at the, the other ones again. Uh, so I can get a better way to compare them at level 1. So again, crocodile... Attack HP armor, he's more physical armor heavy, less magic resist. This guy's more magic resist. And it appears the, is the HP, I guess, oh, that guy has like almost no HP. This guy's HP heavy with a little bit of armor and magic resist. So yeah, it looks like for every rank of pet, it seems like the attack is the same right and then the made the differences are the hp is it more hp based or more armor based or more, more uh, magic resist based so for example and you know most people say hp is the best stat to go for because there's a lot of things in the game that um heal you based on your max hp so you just want to 
get as much max HP as you possibly can, especially because like the superior sets and the Aeon sets, they increase your max HP by 50%, 100%. So generally you want to go for HP. So Cyborg Rat would be like actually a really good pet to have because he's more HP based. Um, oh my God, this changes everything. Like what the heck? <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to end this video at this point. Uh, but I feel like I need to, you know, get this information out there like ASAP now. But yeah, let's let's have a look at these guys. So like this guy is HP, um, physical armor, and it looks like, looks like more physical armor based. And well, I guess a couple a couple of these have more attack than others. Interesting. But at least for the S pets, which the which are the ones that really matter right now, um, they all have the same attack. Uh, let's actually look at the the triple S pets. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> this is crazy. This is exciting. Okay, 166 on attack, HP 2200, 7166. Okay, so some of these actually have higher attack, so. Yeah, obviously if you want to go for higher attack, I guess you would want to like try to have a mix of a pet with higher attack and the ones with more HP. So this one's a little bit higher attack, 1594, 50-50. So a little bit less HP and less defenses on that one. This one's more defensive base, less attack. Okay. And then this guy, 149, 4252. That's really, really high HP base and uh, still less attack than that one. So little iron fort has the highest attack this guy i guess is more well-rounded decent attack and pretty decent defenses this guy has pretty good defense and very high hp low attack and then this guy is high armor lower attack yeah okay so 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 that all being said I still think like the the way to go here is just to try to get all four of your pet slots with triple S pets. Don't invest too heavily in those A grade pets. Let me actually look at the base attack or the base stats on the old dryad as well. So base stat, uh, base stats 149. So he's actually a lower attack guy, uh, but high magic resist, which I think um, in order of defensive stats. I think the, the, the tier list is HP first, magic resist second, armor third. So armor, I feel like physical armor is almost pretty much useless because you I don't think you're taking a, a lot of physical damage most of the time. I think um, most of the bosses in the game, are the most heavy damage they're doing is usually um, magic damage. I could be wrong about that though. That's just my, my theory. So that, yeah, Dryad is a bit lower, but high magic resist. So I would say, I would say for the pets that we want for triple S pets, I think our ideal setup will be Old Dryad. I think Old Dryad is definitely a must. Iron Fort Lord definitely a must. Um, who's the high P HP guy? Phantom Anku. So Dryad, Iron Fort, Anku, and at this point, um, it's I guess it's a top. A toss up between um, Molten Minion, if you want the Molten Minion uh, skill or the the Mini Fiend skill, which both of them are good for, I think, every character. Uh, assuming you're not like, you know, playing like an Isadora, which increases the damage uh, or a summon build of any any type. Of course, you're going to have little Iron for it as your captain. But um yeah, we want Dryad, we want Iron Fort, we want Anku, and then if if you, it de I guess it depends. Like, do you want Combustion Attack, or do you want Earthquake, or do you want some physical armor? Eh, I would say I would say probably Mini Fiend is not the one we want, unless Earthquake actually turn, uh, turns out to be amazing. I guess actually this is for normal attack. So if you're on a normal attack build, then I guess you do want to have Mini Fiend. Um, does this one tra trigger with normal attacks? No, this one's active skills. So yeah. Yeah, I guess depending on if you want an active skill or normal attack, or if you want combustion or earthquake, 
then you want to decide based on that. Otherwise, I would take Molten Minion because he has the better stats. He's more HP, um, more magic resist, and more attack, right? Yeah. So I think Mini Fiend is probably the worst of the Triple S pets unless you're running a normal attack build. Okay, so let's summarize that real quick uh, because this video got really crazy real fast and I'm still kind of confused and, and, and shaking. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on anymore. <laughs> no. Okay, so summary. So these stats right here, uh, these this text right here is wrong. This text right here is... All, all this text is wrong. So this is attack. This is just base ATK. This is ATK. You got 434 ATK. 5011 HP. This is HP. This is physical armor. We got 150 physical armor. And this is magic resist, 385. So for every pet, when you're looking at the pet screen, uh, you just kind of have to remind yourself that this is HP, this is physical armor, this is magic resist, okay? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So, and again, um, so don't invest too heavily into these Hellflame and um, these A-grade pets. They, they do look on paper to be pretty amazing, but when you actually go into the training room, they don't actually do as well as you would think. So I actually, as you can see here, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time leading up to this video doing some testing. Like the testing you see me doing in this video isn't all the testing I've done. I've been doing lots and lots of testing over the last month with the all these different pets. Um, there's no way I could fit all the testing into this one video. That would be crazy. But yeah, I've been doing lots and lots of testing because obviously this has been a big question for me as well. I'm like, I don't I don't know what pet I'm supposed to use. Someone said Hellflame. Okay, normal attack percent. Yeah, that sounds really good, but on, obviously, uh, honestly, it's not that great if you actually go and test it. Um, like, So the way I tested it was basically uh, undeploy all my pets, withdraw all my pets, and then go in without a pet, and then add in the pet. And the damage actually wasn't that much different. It wasn't really impressive to me. Um, so uh, yeah, I feel like the skills on the pets really aren't important until you actually you get to the triple s pets i mean the old dried pet is pretty sick I, I really like his shield um yeah some of these have have decent abilities um but raven mage is don't even bother with this ability by the way i tested this and uh, basically it makes it maybe one more hit before you get stunned but yeah it's it's not that great but yeah Basically, you just want to have all your highest grade uh, pets equipped as you want. Don't invest too heavily into them because we're going to go to triple S at some point. Maybe like six months from now, we'll have all triple S pets. And uh, so I would say maybe go up to level 30, 40 max, which is what I've been doing. Um, and then just focus on your dried if you've got one already. If you haven't got one yet, I'm sorry. But yeah. <laughs> For now, I would only take these guys up to level 30, maybe 40 at the max, and just wait until you get your triple S pets. We we're going to have all four triple S pets, and um, yeah, that's going to be the way to do it because of the stats on the triple S pets, which are much more important than these skills on the A grade pets. <sighs> God, what a video. Really hope this helps some of you guys out there. This definitely helped me. I'm glad I actually went and made this video because uh, this completely changed what I thought. I mean, not at, at the beginning of this video, I already knew I was going to say at the end of this video that we want all triple S pets. But yeah, I didn't actually think what happened would happen. I thought that uh, <laughs> I did, yeah, I didn't actually know that the 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 normal attack and all that extra damage and stuff actually was a lie that was news to me so yeah this this video was kind of crazy hopefully it helps some of you guys out there if uh, it did help you make sure you subscribe hit the like button i do stuff like this all the time and get really nerdy and uh i love it it's a lot of fun i'll see you guys next time in the next video peace out and ggs and stay beautiful